Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo Reno 10 Pro, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So before I get started, I'm just going to quickly touch upon the state of this device. which you can see, it is locked. It's telling me to draw the pattern to unlock it. Uh, and if I close this, it's going to tell me to sign in with the Google account. There we go, verify your account. And without providing either one of those, you typically wouldn't be able to finish up the setup. Now, I'll be showing you how we can bypass this. And after we bypass this, also how we can fully remove it, the protection altogether from the device. Now, unfortunately for this, uh, we will need another phone. Uh, I'll be using the new one, uh, nothing phone, but basically any kind of Android device will work. So that's what I'm using. Obviously you can use any kind of other Android as long as it has access to Play Store. So anyway, we can now begin. So if you are at the very beginning of the setup, progress through it till you get to connect to Wi-Fi page like this one. Once you see it, connect to your network. Then you want to select add a new network. This will kind of change how it looks like for some reason. And in here you can see now we have this eye icon next to our connected network. So we're going to click on it. And then we're going to select share. Now before I do so, I'm just going to kind of cover up the display. Now the reason I want to do this is because when we share it, it also shows the password of the actual network. So I'm just going to do this. So you want to select this share option. And shift it like this. And here we have the nearby option. So that's what we want to click. And from there, we will now select turn on. And then select need help sharing. Once it opens up the article, we want to click on these three dots and select share article, choose messages new message to good enough now the number that you will put in here has zero meaning you can just type in single number a single digit and it will still be good enough uh, we are not actually sending message to anyone we just want the device to attempt to send it so that's what i'm going to select anyway and check it and then it automatically pastes in the article. So we want to select it and completely remove it. Once it's gone, type in www.youtube.com. Now, before you go typing in just youtube.com, I will stress this. The beginning, the www part is crucial. Without this part, uh, YouTube will open up in a pop-up view, which will completely break the process. Uh, when you add this extension and then youtube.com it will then open it up in a full application view so anyway type in this exact thing send it and as you can see not sent that's okay it gives us also the link right here and this little icon right here top to load preview so we're going to click on it it will load the image of like youtube logo you want to click on it then and as you can see there it is it opened up youtube in its full uh, full screen view. And here we're gonna now navigate to account, which is this right here. Settings about Google privacy policy. And then use without an account. No thanks. And in search bar, you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. If you need a moment to copy this yourself, pause the video. I'm going to select consent. And now we're going to scroll down to settings. So once you see the settings up, simply click on the image. It will open up our settings. And now we're going to navigate to home screen and lock screen and then home screen layout, which will open up our home screen for some reason, uh, which is what we actually wanted to do. And in here, we're going to swipe to the left. And in the tools folder, this icon right here, the bottom left one, is the phone clone application, which you want to click on. 
and here select that this is a new device and then allow whatever it wants access to migrate data from we're going to select android it loads up the qr code and we're good to go so i'm going to move it to the side for the time being and now i'm going to bring the other device into view So, in here, search for phone clone. It will show up with the Apple clone phone, so that's what we're looking for. Uh, we have also the OnePlus one and I believe Realme. All of them will work, but for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna select this one. I will also uninstall it right now, just so you can have the same kind of experience as I will, or so I can have same experience as you will, I guess. And anyway, and here we're going to select install. Then you want to select open and it will bring up a bunch of different things that we will need to agree to. So agree and continue settings, enable, go back again, settings, enable, go back, start migrating settings, find the clone phone, enable, go back and go back once more. Uh, to ensure migrating will not be interrupted, uh, do not switch network during the data migration. Okay. Again, settings, enable, go back. Uh, clone phone uh, well, basically requires access to camera because we do need to scan the QR code. So I'm going to select while using the app. Uh, calendar and a bunch of other things. Yep, allow, allow, allow. The reason it needs access to basically everything that might seem personal is because it does migrate all this data so it needs to actually be able to access it so it can move it so there we go uh clone requires the uh, location permission to search for wi-fi hotspot nearby okay cool um again while using the app and this will now show you that the camera is functioning once that is the case let's get to our locked device and simply scan the qr code As you can see, these two devices become connected. It shows you that the hotspot has one device connected. So in here, we're gonna select OK, and automatically it selects all the data that is on our unlocked device. So we're gonna select right here, this check mark at the very top. This will deselect everything. And then you wanna click on apps, as in the text of it. This will then display all the applications. And here you can select any kind of application that you want. I'll be selecting uh, the top fox because it's the uh, smallest size uh, compared to other ones and from there you want to click on the check mark and select start migrating now it will fail with this one i know that for certain but that doesn't really matter if it fails migrating it or not which you'll see in a second so transfer complete okay can get rid of the device now and you can see migration completed and <laughs> migration report successful zero failed one as you can see it won't really matter when you click on done it automatically takes us to the next page anyway so this right now skipped over the verification portion of the setup and now allows us to select our navigation uh, style i'm going to choose gestures just out of principle and then we can select skip for the unlock method later done give it a second get started and as you can see we are now on our home screen again now this device is still not fully unlocked so there is one last thing that we need to do to fully unlock it so we're going to navigate to our settings from here you want to scroll all the way down to additional settings Again, scroll down and select Backup and Reset. Reset phone. Erase all data. Erase all data. And then click on this once again. I'm not going to do this on the video just because this is a factory reset. And to be honest, it doesn't really show anything. Once you begin it, it's just kind of like a bunch of color OS logo or Apple logo. And once it's completed, you are then taken back to the setup of your device at which point you can set up your phone however you want. It will be fully unlocked, so you don't need to do anything extra. Just set it up in whatever way you want to, and you're good to go. 
So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.